All right, we're giving the Capri a bit of a break this month and instead doing a bit of routine maintenance on the old Ford Ranger pickup here. Uh, this time around, we're going to be looking at how to change the diesel fuel filter. Pretty basic stuff. No special tools required. Should only take about 10 minutes. Here we go. So your diesel fuel filter does exactly what it says on the tin. It takes diesel fuel from your fuel tank, filters it, removing any large particles, impurities like dirt, grime, rust, that kind of thing, before passing it onto your injection pump. It's pretty simple stuff, but very important for the longevity of your injection pump and your injectors. So just like any other filter on your vehicle, this needs replacing every now and again. So I go with every third oil change, which works out at about 20,000 miles. So here is the diesel fuel filter. Uh, to replace this, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the little electrical connector from the side of the housing here and disconnect it. I'm also going to release the fuel hoses from their retaining clips here. Uh, that's just to give me a little more slack in the lines and make things a little easier. Then to remove the old filter, just remove these two 12mm bolts here. After you've done that, the whole assembly should just lift out of the housing, like so. So now we have access to the old filter, this blue canister obviously. Uh, now these should just twist off by hand, and I say should because some people like to really crank these things on. If that's the case, you might have to get creative with a filter wrench or a pair of Stilson, something like that. I replaced this last, so fingers crossed it won't be too bad. It's really difficult to get leverage on these things. Oh, she's going, she's going. Now as you unscrew this, try and keep it as level as possible because it will be full of diesel. Try not to spill. Well, I spilt a little bit. It's not too bad for me. So here is the old filter. Now we need to remove this sensor off the bottom and this should just screw off. Like so. Okay, so this little device is a water sensor, and that's because the secondary function of your fuel filter is to act as a kind of water trap, separating any water from the diesel. Now, as water is more dense than diesel, in theory, it will gather at the bottom of the filter here. If a substantial amount gathers, uh, this sensor will pick it up and illuminate a light on your dash, at which point you need to remove this filter and discard of the contents. Unless you have a handy little tap on the bottom of the filter, which I have seen on some setups. Unfortunately, no such luck here. Removal would be your only option. Beautiful day. So we can pretty much discard of the old filter now. Uh, we can also discard of the two O-rings, providing your replacement filter comes with a new set, which it should. So there's one on the bottom of the water sensor here. Remove that, and then there's one on the top of your old filter. If you can't see it on the top of your old filter, check it's not stuck to the underside of the filter head. If it is, you need to remove it before you fit the new filter. Okay, fit the smaller of the two O-rings to the water sensor, uh, dip it in some diesel first. Like so. Now we can screw this into the bottom of the new filter. and tighten firmly by hand. Like so. Now take the larger of the two O-rings, 
uh, and install it into the top of the filter. There we go. Right, before I fit this new filter, I'm going to pre-fill it with fresh diesel. And that's basically to reduce the amount of air that I put into the system. Alright, I didn't fill it all the way to the top because I don't want to spill it everywhere. Uh, so, fitting the new filter is the reverse of how you removed it. First off, screw the new filter to the filter head. Again, firm hand tightness is enough here. Now a little tip if you're struggling to grip the filter is to use a bit of sandpaper um, to grip it. But I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to give everything a splash with some brake clean just to clean off any leftover diesel. Now we can drop the filter back into the housing and install the two bolts. Nip them up. Don't forget to connect your sensor back up. There we go. And then clip down any fuel pipes that you removed. One. Two. Now is to prime the system and we do this by the plunger on top of the filter. The purpose of this is to remove any air we may have introduced into the system. So simply push down on the plunger and release. So what you might find on some setups is there's an air bleed screw on the top of the filter head. Now you'll need to crack that loose to let any air out of the system. Uh, and with these setups basically you're just going to keep pushing the plunger until diesel comes out of the bleed screw. Nip it up and then you should be good to go. There's no bleed screw on this so I'm just going to keep pushing this plunger until it becomes firm and that will indicate air has got out of the system. Okay that feels pretty good. Okay, finally, we can start the engine. Now, if you've got an electric pump before your filter, either in the tank or in the line itself, you might want to cycle the ignition a couple of times just to further prime the system. Uh, that's not the case with this vehicle, so I can just go ahead and hit it. Wait for the glow plugs. Boom, there we go. So just check for any obvious leaks before you close the bonnet and you'll be good to go. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see more of the same thing, subscribe to the channel. Cool, that's another one down. I'll see you for the next video.